What's up, Darren? You know, the fans just starting to gather outside Minute Maid Park, also known as the Juice Box here in Houston, Texas. I'll tell you, the beer looks cold and the food smells good. These are some bacon wrapped hot dogs they're cooking up here at the tavern across from Minute Maid Park. Now, a lot of excitement in this city. I know there's a lot of excitement back in D.C. And I'll tell you what, even charities that are all about good deeds aren't against a little friendly wager on who's going to win this World Series. The Houston Food Bank is one of the largest food banks in the nation last year, handing out 104 million meals across Southwest Texas. Washington National star Anthony Rendon, a Houston native, helped raise tens of thousands of dollars for the Houston Food Bank after Hurricane Harvey in 2017, so he's always been a favorite around these kitchens. His team, however, is not. So when we stopped by to talk to CEO Brian Green, he had a message he wanted us to relay to Houston Food Bank's sister organization organization back in D.C. challenging the Capital Area Food Bank to a little World Series wager. If on the off chance that the Astros should happen to lose, we will gather our volunteers for a Saturday and film them all doing the Nats cheer that you love so much in your stadium. If the Astros win, then we would expect you to do the same with your volunteers and sing Deep in the Heart of Texas, which is an absolutely lovely song. You should want to sing it anyway. I posted the video to my Twitter page and Capital Area Food Bank didn't hesitate, tweeting back, oh, it's on, challenge definitely accepted, all Nats, all the way. And that's not the only World Series bet these two cities have going. Coming up at 6, we'll let you know what a couple local breweries in each city have on the line.